Reimagining Fiscal Federalism in India, Addressing Challenges and Seeking Equity. Welcome to an informative discussion on India's fiscal federalism. We'll explore why it needs reconsideration, its challenges, and proposed solutions. To begin, let's understand the concept itself. Fiscal federalism refers to the financial relations between the central government and the state governments. It involves how funds are allocated and distributed across different levels of government administration. Now let's delve into the rationale behind the growing call for reconsideration. Over time, India's economy has shifted from planet to market driven. Accompanied by constitutional amendments that expanded the fiscal framework into a multi-tier system, the Planning Commission evolved into Niti Aayog. Key acts like the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act and the Goods and Services Tax Act were introduced. This transformation increased reliance on special charges, influencing the overall pool size. The complexity arises from the intricate web of intergovernmental fiscal relationships. India's diverse regions, with varying economic conditions and societal dynamics, contribute to this complexity. Vertical imbalances between state government's expenditure and revenue responsibilities exacerbate the situation, while revenue-sharing agreements and central grants help mitigate these imbalances. Deficits persist. Given these challenges, coupled with a push for fiscal autonomy by states and shifts toward a transformed economic structure, a comprehensive reassessment becomes imperative. Let's delve into the proposed approaches to address these challenges. Equitable intergovernmental transfers are urged to counter disproportionate favoring of the affluent, which affects the divisible pool size. Prioritizing equity is vital. Integrating the Human Development Index, HDI, into resource distribution is proposed. Despite income divergence, states exhibit HDI convergence, promoting fairer allocation. Re-evaluating Article 246 is suggested for a clearer division of powers. Changing politics and development call for precise delineation. The subsidiarity principle, performing functions at the right level, offers a simplified approach. Implementing it could address complexities from the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendments. Elevating the third tier status recognizes local bodies' importance, with countless representatives and governments acknowledging their service role is essential. Transparent management of off-budget borrowing is crucial. These unaccounted loans can affect fiscal deficits, demanding accountability from both central and state governments. Lastly, enhancing transparency in extra budgetary financing is crucial. Disclosing transactions like the National Small Saving Fund can provide a clearer fiscal view. In conclusion, India's fiscal federalism, established in a different era, requires comprehensive reconsideration due to the changing landscape and recent developments. As we usher in a new era of fiscal federalism, it's crucial to address evolving complexities, ensuring transparency and balance in financial relations between the central and state governments. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey.